the holidays are here for me, a big part of that, drinking champagne. So we're gonna show you how to take any old cheap wine and turn it into an amazingly delicious glass of champagne in an instant. And that's champagne with lower KC. Wine goes in, charge it, pour it, bubbles. Pretty straightforward stuff. If you're not familiar with one of these bad boys, we call them whipping siphons. And you can put a couple different gases in them too. There's like the nitrous side of things, so whipped cream. Then there's the CO2 side. You can make your own fresh sodas. And today, we're gonna use the CO2 to make fresh champagne. Okay, that's your tools. This is the CO2. Besides the tools, you only need a couple ingredients. Could be red, could be rosé, why not? But I'm gonna do some white wine today. The longest part is gonna be opening it, so I'm just gonna do the twist top one. Do, 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 do. This is just cheap white wine, and these are just cheap ass regular grapes. Ugh. If you take a couple, blump, blump, and they're gonna be super, super, super fizzy. Served like these champagne grapes at lots of parties and cocktail hours, and people are like, woo, they're so good. You're gonna wanna come to chefsups.com to get all the little details here. The factors are how cold is the wine, how sweet is it, how much alcohol is it, and how much pressure of CO2 are you putting in. The longer I let the CO2 sit on this, the more and more and more carbonation will be dissolved into the liquid. And the more CO2, the more acidic and bright the drink will, because CO2, when it's dissolved, turns into carbonic acid, and that's a, that's a good thing. Like, it's in sodas, it makes flavors brighter and stuff too, so if I've got like a buttery, crappy, cheap, oaky Chardonnay, it'll taste lighter and brighter when there's CO2 in it. Keeping it on ice, the colder it is, the faster the CO2 will dissolve. So I know we're talking about whipping siphons. These are the best whipping siphons. We've got a whole class about them, all the cool things you can do with them, from bulletproof hollandaise to carbonated cocktails. We just had the idea of we've got some amazing, legit champagne here um, from Champagne, really good stuff. And we've got our little cheapy fizzy one here. I'm gonna go, I don't know, do a couple emails or something while Nick sets up a little blind tasting and we'll see if I can tell the difference. I mean, I could be wrong and be looking like an idiot right now, but. Let's see where we're at. Maybe give it a little shake, a little swirl. Yeah, and I'm gonna do this too. So I don't want like big splashes here. People call them cocktail glasses, but they're coupes. So grapes, like the solids, could benefit from a little bit more time or more charges. Try one of these real quick. Definitely infused with really good wine. At the end of the day, you get all the flexibility in the world. You can take any rosé, white, red. It's really good. Really easy to make. More at Chef's Steps. There's lots of tips, tricks, recipes, all that. We've got a whole bunch of stuff on fizzy fruit. So if you just want to carbonate grapes, you want to carbonate oranges, so go to Chef's Steps to learn how. Happy holidays.